Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. But anyway, thought I'd get up here and do a video. It's been uh, quite a bit since I've done one. Um, I think it's been going on, what, three weeks, I think? I've kind of lost track, to be honest with you. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to get up here and do a video and uh, talk a little bit and tell you where I've been and show you a little bit of what I've been working on. But I was hoping it'd be a little warmer outside. I think it's... I think it's like in the 40s right now, so um, supposed to get up in the 60s, so I'm glad of that because I am sick and tired of this cold weather. <laughs> I am ready for some spring and summer, and I'm ready for butterflies and uh, bumblebees, honeybees, gardening, and all the above. I love being outside, and, and when I'm outside, I'm constantly uh, working in my yard and, you know, getting my exercise in and staying busy like that. And doing a lot of my crocheting at night so I spend a lot of time during the summer outside but anyway where have I been well um, the last time I talked to you guys um, I had mentioned that I wasn't feeling very well which yeah, I wasn't because I thought it was my sleep apnea which it was giving me some fits <laughs> but it turns out I ended up getting uh, COVID and uh, I was uh, starting off thinking like I said sleep apnea but each day it kept getting something different and so I got tested and so I ended up having it and so that knocked the uh, the air and the wind out of my sails I guess you could say <laughs> I normally don't get sick I, you know I struggle with the sleep apnea but not as far as um, I've never had the flu or any of that and so this one really got me <laughs> I um, like I said, I ended up testing positive, so I just uh, sit around in the recliner the whole time. I slept a lot. Um, I fought that because I don't like sleeping during the day, but I couldn't help it. I had to end up listening to my body, and so I'd sit there in the recliner and uh, didn't do. I tried to crochet, but I just did not have the desire. I I would get it out and sit there with it, the hook in my hand, and just eventually I'd fall asleep. <laughs> I did find this uh, channel. It's not a crochet channel. It's a uh, a channel. I I'm, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I like going and visiting um, old cemeteries and graves and stuff because I like to um, the to know the history and and wonder what their life was like and you know the story behind it. And so I ended up finding this channel that I have absolutely. I have been binge watching every one of them every day. That's what I've been watching. And it's called Faces of the Forgotten, I believe. And it's a gentleman. And um, I, I am just fascinated with the way he tells the story. He has the most soothing... That sun's starting to get in my face. Uh, he has the most soothing and calming voice that while I wasn't feeling well, I'd sit there and listen to him. And I would, I've would i never been able to fall asleep watching TV or listening to anybody, but I do with him. <laughs> so I fell asleep several times listening to him telling the story. So I uh, absolutely love his channel. And I'll put a link down below if any of you guys want to go check it out. It's very interesting. He goes and he picks out, you know, all different ones. And tells the history of what that person what you know what happened to him and and it's just fascinating I've actually learned a lot from him and I've never heard of some of these until I started watching him and I never heard of it in school some of them so it's pretty fascinating and I'll put a link down below where you can go uh, check him out if you'd like to his channel's growing pretty fast too I've watched it jump pretty far so far and he's only been doing it just a little over a year but I think he's from Chicago, if I remember right, and he travels like, he's been to Arkansas, Missouri, uh, Louisiana, he just travels around. He's a retired uh, pilot, I believe. But anyway, um, if you want to check it out, I'll put it down below. So that's what I did. I just sat there and do that. I didn't do a whole lot of crocheting. Um, I did finally work on my blanket, and I'm going to pause this and see if I can get out of the sun a little bit. It's right in my eyes, so hold on a minute. <laughs> Okay, I had to go a little further back in the woods. <laughs> Hopefully, it will stay hidden behind that cedar tree over there. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, I think I was talking about what I have been working on. Um, I haven't had the desire to do a whole lot of different things, you know, like the amigurumis and stuff, because I just couldn't focus. I, I mostly worked on that um, 
all that sunburst blanket and it's by Jada and Stitches. So I finally got it done and I'm really excited about it. And as soon as I got done with that, I would actually try to see if I wanted to work, you know, see if I could work on something else. And I still didn't really have the desire for anything else except maybe another sunburst. So I started on another one and I haven't gotten real far with it because then I ended up getting on a wash kick, washcloth kick, because I've been in the mood, you know, I'm not going to force myself to uh, get, you know, make things that I really don't want to make, but I've been wanting to make some washcloths for a while and use up a lot of my cotton because I had a lot of uh, earth tone colors that I've used and had, you know, some of it left, and so I've been wanting to make some washcloths for my bathroom, one of my bathrooms, and so I ended up doing that, and been making several of them and that's about all I've been working on so I'm like I said I, I feel better but I still have a lot of congestion and I'm still tired I still feel you know I have my moments of feeling weak and um, I finally got out of the house yesterday after what three weeks I guess and that felt good so I got out and had to go to town and then I actually went and visited a an old cemetery and so that was I enjoyed that very much I'd never been to this one and it was a uh, um, cemetery on the way home so I visited you know went around looking at all the old graves and they were like back in the 1800s and pretty cool so anyway I'm going to show you my blanket that I got done and I'm really excited about it and I'll stand up and show you but it turned out to be pretty good size and I absolutely love it. And like I said, that's what got me through this. <laughs> Calling it my COVID blanket, I guess. <laughs> I want to stand up and show you guys how it turned out. I ended up using all my yarn in my little in my little basket that I had it in, the little scraps. And then I ended up using several out of the big basket. But this is how it turned out. And that sun's going to, let's see if I can do it like this. Yeah. But anyway, I think the last time I showed y'all before I got sick, I was right here. And so I ended up putting that much more into it. And uh, I think it turned out so pretty. I absolutely love this. And I used up a lot of my scraps. Now, um, I did mess up on this one. This is the one I, instead of having... Well, that sun's found me already. Instead of having 12 points, I think I ended up having 11 because I, I figured out where I messed up when I started working on my other one. So, but anyway, I think it's beautiful. These colors make me so happy. And, uh, and it's just the right size for me. I've been using it in the recliner at night, working on my washcloths. Kitty cats love it too. <laughs> they roll up in it, but it's so pretty. All the different colors and stuff in it. Oh, I do. I love this so much. It's actually one of my favorites, I think. So I got that one done, and I used a, um, a was it a five and a half? Oh my goodness, you think I would remember this? I know, I think I used a five millimeter. I'll have to go back to the video and uh, see what I used. <laughs> I, I got a book to write things down, and I still haven't done it yet, so... <clears throat> All right, now the next one is the star one, star, the sunburst still, and I started another one. And this one I wanted to use a lot of blues and greens that I have. I've, I've got yarn in there that I bought a couple of years ago, I believe, or maybe three years ago, when Hobby Lobby had, it, um, when I hit a clearance sale there, and I bought a bunch of variegated ones and so I don't know what I'd end up using it for and so I finally decided you know I'm just going to get all the ones with the greens and the blues and all of that and different shades of that and then just, just put it together and that, so that's what I started doing on this one and this is what I got so far I think it's beautiful I love this one so much and I did do this one right it does have 12 points <laughs> and so I'm excited about working on this one and uh, it's really pretty but it's just uh, some of these are some of those skeins I got from Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and some of it is some scraps that I had this one's discontinued it was from Wal uh, Walmart mainstay and then that's another Walmart mainstay there's another Hobby Lobby I love this yarn but yeah it's turning out really pretty and I can't wait to 
get it going more. And I get the desire to want to work on it. All right, I might have to pause it again. I tell you what, this sun is really loving me today, which I'm not going to complain because I am so ready for some sunshine. It's being stuck in the house all that time, and we had, um, oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to be back at the North 40 before you know it, having to move every time. I hate having to do that, but not that sun, I can't see. But anyway, we ended up getting um, between ice and snow, and sleet, we ended up getting like three inches here a couple of weeks ago. I think it's been a couple of weeks. Yeah, we were supposed, you know, the way they were talking, we were going to get like um, a half an inch of uh, ice, which that's a lot of, that's a lot for our uh, electrical lines and stuff and trees. And so we were concerned about that, especially with all these trees around our house. And, and then we, we finally went out and found a different heating source in case we uh, lost our electricity, which I'm very glad of that because we had a hard time finding something at first. Don't seem to have a lot of things here in this town where you, you know, you had to go out of town to go find it. But luckily we found something here. So we're, we're prepared for next year in case something was to happen. But yeah, three inches of all that. So we did this. It did end up snowing and it was absolutely beautiful, but I'm glad it's gone now. <laughs> it's finally, we still got some. I don't see any around now, but yesterday there were still several patches of it on our porch, but it's finally gone now, so. All right, now the other thing, um, and I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go make you a sunburst uh, blanket. This, like I said, this is Jade N Stitches. She has a tutorial on it, and she also has a, uh, a free, I believe it's a PDF download that you can get too. Uh, the other one is some washcloths that I'd mentioned, and it's called the Sweet Susie Washcloth, and it's by B Crochet. And uh, <clears throat> I, uh, when I went and looked at it, I thought they were, I really liked the way they looked. And so I ended up making several of them. And they're pretty good size. I like my washcloths to be big. You know, let me find them here. So I went in there and I dug out all my earth tone uh, washcloths. Maybe that one there. And I ended up making eight of them and in the very last one I just used up what I had left and as a matter of fact I ran out of um, the tan and used a tiny bit of gray <laughs> around the border of it but this is like um, double crochet and then single crochet and you skip and then you do the back post on uh, some of the, the stitches a couple of rows and you do like three different rows of that but and then you can either do a single crochet around the edge or you can leave it off, which the one that I started for my other bathroom, I'm going to leave the border off. But it, they're pretty good size. So I made one, I think I used a 5 millimeter hook. I made one of that color. And then I had, these are all um, Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton, 100% cotton. And I don't remember the name of the colorways. I do know one of them, I think, if I remember right. But I got that one, and I just think it's really pretty. I like the design on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I love this color. And I think this one is, do I want to say gingerbread? It's either gingerbread or, I don't, I almost want to say butterscotch, but I think that might have been a, a colorway on one of those uh, Premier Yarns from the Dollar Tree. But I love this color. I made a gingerbread out of this. But I made one like that. I made a brown one. And then I made some gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I was debating on whether to make a basket or just buy me a wicker basket, which I might just get me a wicker basket and just roll them up and put them inside that and put them in my, because I got a lot of wicker stuff in my big bathroom. And then I did one there. So that's what I did there. And they were a lot of fun to make and real easy. And so then I started last night making some for my other bathroom. And I have a, oh, I have like different colors in, you know, like flowers and uh, spring like type, I guess you could say it's, but anyway, uh, I've got like coral and red and yellow and some greens in there. And so I picked out some of the colors that I have scraps of that I'm going to be, and this is what it looks like without the border, which I kind of like it better without it, to be honest. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. I wanted to be different on this one, so that's what I did there. 
So that was my other one that I made. So that's what I have to share with you there. Now, I do have some happy mail that I'm going to share with you, but I'm going to have to pause the video and go get uh, what I have in the house and a couple of cards I'm going to share with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards. I got me some Valentine cards, so I'm super excited about that. And this one is by Marsha, and she does have a YouTube channel. It's made by Marsha's mom. Marsha, I think. <laughs> I never can get that right, Marsha. I'm sorry, but they're so cute. And, of course, whenever I went to open it, I, I was a bit very careful because Marsha's known for her confetti. <laughs> and so she makes her cards, and they're absolutely beautiful. Let me get it out of the envelope here. I'm struggling. But look at this. Is this not the cutest? Oh, see, there goes the confetti. <laughs> but is this not the cutest? I love this. So cute. And uh, it's got the little hearts all over it, and they're glittery. Let me see if I can show you a better picture. Uh, it just says, uh, Hello, Angelia. Just wanted to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. X's and O's, Marsha, a.k.a. Made by Marsha Mom. <laughs> and I'll put a link down below to her uh, YouTube channel where you can go check it out. <clears throat> you see the glitter on there? Isn't that beautiful? I love that. That is so cute, pretty. And here's the confetti. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you got the little confetti in there. And she also put some stickers in here for me. There's the confetti. It says, life is short, buy the craft supplies. <laughs> oh my goodness, ain't that the truth? There is no such thing as too much yarn. <laughs> I'm hooked on crochet. <clears throat> and craft your stress away i tried that <laughs> it does work so <laughs> all right thank you marcia that is so sweet of you to do that and it couldn't come at a better time whenever i was not feeling very well <laughs> see if i can get i'm gonna I'm have to do that after i shut the video off all right now this next one is by summer it's from summer and she has sent me a Halloween card if I remember right and a Christmas card and she's always got the cutest little stickers now I'm not gonna be able to show you the front because it's got our addresses on there but here's some little heart stickers she's put on the back so sweet and then she likes to send stickers too look at this card isn't it beautiful happy Valentine's Day it's so pretty and Wishing you everything that makes a Valentine's Day happy, family, friends, and lots of love. Your uh, yarny friend, Summer. And she said, I hope you and your hubby have a, an amazing Valentine's Day celebrating each other. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. And so on the inside, she knows I love my kitty cats. <laughs> she gave me some cute little kitty cat stickers in the, in the yarn. <laughs> Those are so cute. And here's some more. So sweet. And then some little heart ones. And then here's these here. So cute. It brings back memories from when I was a kid. And, you know, you'd get those Valentine cards from your friends in school. <laughs> so fun. And so cute. All right. Now, I'm going to pause you one more time. And I'm going to go in and get the other. I don't I won't have all of it to share with you because I got it stored away some of it but I will uh, bring out what my friend Ann sent me so just give me just a moment and I'll pause you one more time <laughs> okay yeah I'm back <laughs> I went in and got um, my happy mail that my friend Ann we had been chatting with each other and she uh, was wanting to know if I was interested in some of these um, blow molds that she got and, of course, you guys know how I love my blow molds. And so, they are the cutest thing. Now, I do have them put away right now because, you know, I've, I've, I've got them stored for Christmas. And I will uh, show them, uh, Lord willing, at Christmas time when I do my Vlogmas. So, I'm excited about it. They're the cutest things. They're like, uh, it's a nativity set and it's of like kids. It is. It, I've never seen them before. So, I'm super excited about it. But she also had some other goodies in there. She sent some squid. I think that was it on the that part and I've never had squid before but it's good and hubby he's had it before you know because he lived in um, 
think he might have had some when he lived in Japan. I can't remember. But anyway, he likes it. So anyway, she also threw in some little goodies in there of some gnomes. And they are the sweetest things. And they're Valentine ones. And so, see if I can do this without dropping them here. I'm going to scoot my chair over. Here's one of them. <laughs> Is this not the cutest thing? Oh, I just think they're the sweetest. <laughs> so she sent me this one, a little girl. And then she sent me this one, I guess to go with this one. <laughs> and then she sent me these two, and they got the glitter, the all the sequins on them. Look at how cute these are. Are these not the sweetest? <laughs> so I have them up there on my table where I decorate for you know the holidays and stuff so I just think they're the sweetest things and I absolutely love them and thank you Ann that was so sweet of you to do that I do I love these they're so cute and my cats have not bothered them can you believe that I didn't put my tree out I did buy a little white tree that I was going to decorate but I knew Woody would get up there and he would mess with it so I ended up not decorating and plus I wear like this right here in a, my blanket and one other thing I can't, a candle is the only thing I have setting out besides my card for Valentine's. Because, like I said, I didn't feel like doing anything. <laughs> I, I even lost my taste. That was horrible. I couldn't taste anything. But I finally, there's certain things, though, that taste funny to me now that didn't before. So, water is one of them. It tastes weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm a water drinker, but boy, now it don't taste right. So, but I still drink it. So, but... Hopefully, I'll get all my taste back, but we'll see. <clears throat> but anyway, I guess, and the other thing I want to say before I go, thank you so much for all the prayers. I greatly appreciate them, and they have worked, and God is good, let me tell you. He's good all the time, so I do. I'm grateful for all the prayers, and I do feel better. So, hopefully, I'll get to being back to 100% of myself. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to say thank you, and and I guess I'm going to hop off of here. And hopefully I'll be up here real soon with another video uh, with some other things I'll be making once I get into the uh, back into the hang of it. <laughs> uh, for sure it'll be some washcloths. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that one. But anyway, thank you for my cards. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting at you guys real soon. <laughs>